Voila! What's up, people? Welcome back to Vicky Silly Santa. How do you actually make the first step to learn how to code? Actually, let me put this thing down. I get this question a lot. A lot of people come to me and ask, Vicky, how do you actually start learning how to code? If I don't know anything about coding, I don't have any friend who code. First, you gotta ask yourself this question. Why do I want to start learning how to code? Do you want to build just an app? If you already have an app idea and you really want to turn your app idea into an actual thing, I'll link this videos down below. Your actual motivation is that you really want to learn how to code, you love coding, or you are thinking that this is going to be the career path. The next thing that you would need to know about is to pick a side. So either the front end or the back end. So if you don't understand the differences between front end and back end, I have another video linked down below that really gonna help you to understand the front end and the back end. If you're not sure which side that you should be picking, just pick a side. Doesn't really matter. But usually if you already have a little bit of foundation about knowing C, C++ or Java, it might find it really easy for you to pick it up from the back end side of the world. Especially if you have like SQL or some kind of like database administrative kind of background, picking up back end would be a little bit easier than front end. Um, if you are more of like a visual and designer, picking front end might be easier for you. So after you decided which side that you wanted to work on, either front end or back end, with front end, always start it with HTML and CSS and go deeper into JavaScript. I always say that go to FreeCodeCamp. It's one of the best free resources website that helps you to get kickstarted on just learning how to code. There are a couple reasons why I would recommend this website. First of all, it's free. I always enjoy to learn things from free resources. It's pretty reliable. So you always get tons of support from other people also studying the same thing. The free code cam actually has a pretty solid foundation of building you up to learn about HTML and CSS. Once you finish doing HTML and CSS, the next thing I would learn is JavaScript because JavaScript is the magic that makes HTML and CSS to be more dynamic on the website, to be more fun, to be more magical. So HTML, CSS, and then JavaScript. If you wanted to start with backend, probably for beginners, doesn't really have much of coding um, background to start with either learning Ruby or learning Python. So that really depending on your um, preference. So um, with Python, you probably get more exposures to machine learning, building automation tools and stuff like that. Um, usually Ruby is more used for a web development world. So a lot of times you'll see the front end with JavaScript and HTML and CSS, and then the back end was built with Rubies on Rails um, at a lot of the startup companies. And even like even the bigger companies use um, Ruby too all the time. Um, if you're already in school, you want to continue learning Java, C, C++, that's not a bad option too, but it's just knowing the fact that it might take you a little bit longer to start actually building things with Java and C and C++ with those languages because those languages are kind of uh, low-level languages, which it's faster um, in a way how code actually compile and perform. But then again, it's more abstract. So when you're learning those things without a computer science background or knowledge, it could be a little bit trickier, especially for newbies like us. So HTML, CSS. Wow, that seems like a lot of information I just like inject into your head. I guess the whole idea of this video that I'm making is that I wanted to give you more in-depth information about learning how to code because I get a lot of um, questions like that. Stop overthinking, overanalyzing it, and just start doing already. So until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Usually, um, people ask me how many hours do you spend in learning how to code. Um, it's not about like how long in a day that you're spending in coding, even though that helps, but it's more important that you're making sure that you're coding and learning consistently. So you wanted to spend an hour a day or something to just learn about coding. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. This is the first time I'm making longer content. So if you enjoy it, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoy the content. Wow, the sun just like really hits on my face. That's crazy. Look at this little middle line.